area. And the guy was like, at, he, he was adamant. He told me, like through chat, this guy told me, half broken English. And I think his name was Raj or something like that. He told me that in order for me to work there, I had to go through the whole thing. I did not realize that he had to manually remove me from my old place and put the new place in its place. It, like other apps, like Walmart, you can put in your the zip code and yes, you can move to another area. Like DoorDash, you can physically drive and it tells you you're out of the area, you can pop into another area. As long as you stop the, the scheduled shift that you have and you can move to another shift. Uh, Instacart. I've done Instacart. Instacart does not make a difference. It finds whatever's closer. DoorDash does, well, I, we went through DoorDash. Um, what else? Uh, uh, Roadie. Roadie does not care what state, what, what you do you work in. It just shows you everything. Um, those are the ones I use, Roadie, Spark. Spark's the only one that you have to change your zone ahead of time. And it will pop up and tell you that it takes a little while to change your zone. But from what I'm seeing, it takes less time when you change it. It maybe take five minutes, if that. And it will change it even though it hasn't actually confirmed it with you but it has already changed it so spark will do that you can drive through like i don't know grubhub i'm still waiting to get approved because there's too many people doing it right now but I'm trying to figure that one out, but um, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and and let you guys know if you're using Uber Eats, I don't know if that works for the Uber rideshare either. I'm sure people know this or understand this, but a lot of people like me, I did not. I mean, I was under the assumption he was just going to add me an area not remove me from the area that I was already at and then I had to work in whatever area was left and I, I didn't like that idea because especially when it said it takes three to five days to go through a background check which was kind of funny because I had my background check two weeks ago and it should have already been there it shouldn't need another background check the stuff that the background checking is just normal stuff that is worldwide or not worldwide but uh countrywide it's not wait a minute i need to get over hold on but the stuff that, that they're checking is nationwide and it's not like statewide I, so I don't understand just because your vehicle moves to a different state you're still gonna have the same license you're still gonna have the same everything why do you have to redo the whole thing their system is really weird and if anybody else is having this this issue or whatever anybody have this thing I'm just letting people know who don't use Uber Eats wait a minute I'm just letting people know that use Uber Eats and don't understand that you can't just move from one city to another city unless you're planning on staying there. Don't even call and do this because they're going to tell you you need a background check, you need to redo all your paperwork, and it's going to take three to five days to do. And when you just want to go there for the day and come back, it don't work that way. It should not be that hard. 
I don't understand. I'm sure that I'm not doing the ride sharing where I pick people up, but all I'm doing is doing the delivery. But I'm almost guessing you have to do the same thing in both apps, in both situations. All right, I'm getting off here. You guys have fun. Click.